slap a lid on it and I move on to the next one. And it is really easy. I'm not chasing a spider around. I'm not trying to shove it into a cup. They are very shy spiders. So you physically do have to squish them to get them to retaliate. And that goes for all species of spider. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, she, she laid down a little bit. Well, she was in bed and she woke up and had a, well, she didn't because she had like a big bite on her back. She's like, oh, maybe it was a spider bite. She could have rolled over. Yeah, absolutely 100%. Um, one of the, the spiders that produces a nasty skin lesion is the brown recluse, which is like my favorite spider to talk about. And I don't have them out today because the widow speech is really long and the brown recluse speech is really long. And together, you, know, you guys would be here all day. Um, What's the story with the brown, brown widow here? The brown widow is actually an invasive species. Before Hurricane Katrina, you could really only find her in the southern tip of Florida. After Katrina, her populations exploded westward. You can now see her in California. And there's a whole lot of reasons for this, or a whole lot of theories, I should say, not reasons. Um, one of those being that we brought in a lot of machinery out of Florida after Katrina and had all these egg cases on it. And, right, and then you had you know, all these crazy wind currents after Katrina and you blew a bunch of spiderlings over here. Um, but I, I've never seen spider populations like I have with the brown widow. It's are they, crazy. Are they a problem or just? Um, they're just kind of terrifying everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like them. I like them a whole lot. And I actually, when they first started to appear around my property, tried to leave them alone as long as possible. But I eventually had to kill the mothership who had like eight, eight cases in her web at one time. And I was just like, you have to go. You are just overpopulating everything. But So they had a nasty bite? Um, it, it's not really a nasty bite, but it makes you feel nasty. It's a oh. neurotoxin, so it's going to affect your entire body, whereas like a brown recluse bite is a topical type of bite. The bite itself is pretty pretty gross. And, and these guys here, their millipedes don't bite? They don't centipedes bite. Do, so. Centipedes do. So anything that's carnivorous can bite you in some way, shape, or form. Uh -huh. Not all things that are carnivorous have venom. So there are several things like... Um, like, you'll, you guys are going to see some uh, unicorn katydids. Those guys love waxworms. They're actually a little bit omnivorous. And they've got these big pinchers. And they can, you know, latch on pretty good if they wanted to. But there's no venom associated with it. So after the initial pinch, you're absolutely fine. With centipedes, most of them do contain venom. And because of that, you're looking at a painful bite. Not any kind of sickness or illness right, or anything. It just, it just hurts. Okay, well, thanks so much. Thank you. And what was your name again? Megan. Megan, thanks, Megan. This is really, this is awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. it. What, what, what kind of millipedes? Those are, are giant African millipedes. Yeah. And what, what do they eat? Like decaying? Yeah, they are completely detritivorous animals, so they're only going to eat on rotting plant tissue. What, what was that word? Detritivorous. A detritivore. Detritivore. So, like, uh, now in high school and elementary school, they don't ever use the word detritivore. They use the word decomposer. Okay. But you have carnivore, herbivore, omnivore, detritivore, insectivore. It goes on and on and on. They're just a different kind of vore. And these things are, like, 8 inches long? Um, actually, the average size of them is about 10 to 12 inches. Uh, there's a little one in there, and he kind of looks like he's about 8 inches. The large side of that spectrum is about 15 inches. So do our local centipedes, I mean, if you, you could get bitten by one of those, is that... Uh, most of North American insects or most of North American arthropods are kind of, you know, pitiful to say the least. We don't have a lot of big, we don't have a lot of beautiful, we don't have a lot of, you know, super dangerous uh, like you do in rainforest type environments. Yeah. Um, so a lot of our centipedes are pretty small. Yeah. There is some in the desert that can leave a pretty nasty bite, okay. um, but millipedes are totally fine. Cool. And we got millipedes everywhere. Here, thanks so much. No problem.